Hi everybody, this is Sir Crazy, and I'm coming to you from the CrunchBang Linux forums and IRC channel on the Freenode IRC network. Today we're going to be talking about another OpenBox application to help configure your OpenBox window manager. The program we'll, we will be looking at today is the OpenBox configuration manager, aptly named because it will edit many options in your rc.xml. This is a GUI application, which is very easy to use for many newcomers. Here we're going to go to Preferences, OpenBox Config, and GUI Config Tool. It will pull up a GUI application with many categories, the first of which being Theme. Your theme is your overall look of your OpenBox desktop. The window, titles, and borders, and your menu are dictated by your OpenBox theme. You can install a new theme from an OBT file or create a theme archive if you happen to make a custom theme. Here this is what the Blue Smoke theme looks like. I downloaded Blue Smoke theme from box.look, box-look.org. There are many themes you can find there and there are also many themes that have come pre-installed with your CrunchBang installation and OpenBox. And of course, if you have oh, uh, CrunchBang, this is the theme that you will see. Once you pick your theme, we'll go to the next tab, Appearance. Now the appearance is going to dictate what your window looks like, whether it has decorations or not. The decorations is the theme on the title bar and whatnot. Now this is uh, Windows retain a border when undecorated. This will uh, this is something you should keep checked. This will just make sure that there's a border around it to identify each window separately. Makes everything look neater and more organized. Animate, iconify, and restore. What this will do is it will actually give an animation to your minimize and your restore. It minimizes it down to the bottom of the screen. Many people like this but it does not look that good if your taskbar is on the top of the screen as mine is. So I leave that un I leave that unchecked. Here are some button order for your Windows titles. This just has your all the options are below it. And you can customize what is shown, whether to have the shade, the omnipresent. What I'm using is really just a basic default uh omnipresent title, shade, minimize, maximize, and close. Then we have our fonts down below. Our active window title is sans bold by default and that just means that it's going to be bolder. If I was to open up another window and take the focus away from it, you'll see that it will be an inactive window and not be bold. Okay, next we're going to look at the Windows category. And the Windows category just deals with the focus of Windows when they are opened and the position of them. Now, focus new window when they appear. I always keep this checked as it can be confusing when it's not checked. What this means is that when a new window comes up, as you can see, it becomes an inactive window as opposed to active. Again, I always keep this checked. It just seems to make things easier. Next, we're going to focus on where we're going to place the windows. With this option checked, place new windows under the mouse pointer. Wherever the current location of your mouse pointer is, it's going to be the area in which the window opens. And the other option here, if you see I open on the right hand of the screen, it still opens underneath the mouse pointer on the right hand side of the screen. The other selection down here in placing windows is center new windows when they are placed. What this will just do is this will tend to place them all the windows in the same spot and it will center the windows in the central area of the screen. Now you can see no matter where I open the window from, it will open in the same location. The next category we're going to move on to is the move and resize. Now with the move and resize, this has to do mainly with windows that have contents that are editable mostly your file manager and some other windows, editing windows perhaps. And what this will do with this check, it will update the window 
with the change automatically. As I make my file manager smaller, the icons move into less and less rows. Once I make it larger again, they come back. Now switch desktops when moving past the screen edge. What this is nice this is nice option because as I drag a window to the edge, it automatically moves to the third desktop. And when I move it back, it automatically comes back again to the first one. It's pretty handy if you need to quickly move the windows and you don't have a keybind set. The next category is the mouse settings. What this checkbox will do is it will focus windows when the mouse pointer moves over them. When I open a new window, it will automatically gain focus. Now when I move my mouse back over the open box configuration manager, it automatically gains focus without clicking. Some people may like this. I don't as I feel it creates more confusion than anything else. Also we have title bar settings here. What happens when we double click on the title bar? The two options are to maximize the window and to shade the window. Maximize the window gives you the option that's very familiar to Windows users. And shade is another option which will just simply not close it, not minimize it, but leave the window with just the title bar. The next category is desktops. We can show a notification when switching desktops. This will tell you which desktop you moved on to and the fact that you switched one. I always keep this checked as I like to see the notification come up when I move windows. The next option here is the number of desktops. As I increase the number, you can see my taskbar gets new boxes for each desktop. You can literally never run out of enough desktop space with Openbox Window Manager. This next category is desktop margins. What this does is it sets a certain amount of pixels aside on the top, bottom, left and right of the screen in which application windows will not be opened. So when I open a new window, I can restrict where this window opens to. And this will also deal with maximized windows. I can always leave a space there for maximized windows. The last option, Dock Settings, this will come in play in a future video when I explain the Openbox Dock. Yes, Openbox does come with its own dock, but it does not get activated until you open the dock with the first application in it. Thank you for listening and watching my tutorial on the OBCOM Openbox Configuration Manager. I hope that this is giving you a little bit of insight into editing different aspects of your open box setup and you can achieve from it a very nice customized distribution. Thank you very much. This is Sir Crazy from the Crunchbang Linux Forum and IRC channel on the Freenode IRC network. And if you need any help, please feel free to stop by the forums. And while you're there, think about posting a nice screenshot after you edit your own open box setup. Thank you.